It's gold. It's gold! All right, guys. Today's video is the one that you have all been waiting for. So my last video, um, I went to Target, CVS, and Rite Aid, and I tried to go to Walgreens, but it was a fail, and got a bunch of new makeup, and everything is gonna be under, I think everything is actually under $20, and I mentioned at the end of that video that my next video was gonna be trying out that new makeup that we found at the drugstore, okay? Sorry if I feel, uh, or if I seem a little bit off in today's video. We, um, I got back from Park City last night, and yesterday, um, we found out about, um, you know, Kobe Bryant and his daughter and all of the other passengers that were on board of the helicopter, and it, uh, he just, it just it had such an impact on like the way I was feeling yesterday and today um, And just what was in the air. I mean just like the energy in in LA. It's It's it feels very empty, you know, like that's the only word I can use to describe it very like sad and empty and um, My heart definitely goes out to Everybody that's been affected and all of the victims because it's just it's truly heartbreaking, but one thing that I loved about Kobe is that he was always like, you know, he put put out that inspiration to go after your dreams and work as hard as you can so that you can become the person that you want to be or the athlete that you want to be or, you know what I mean? Like, whatever it is that you're passionate about, you can be that if you work hard. So, in that regard, you know, I'm trying to... I guess you could say take the positive, not even the positive, like that's not the right word to use, but take take what I can out of the situation and, and learn from it and grow for it, from it. And another thing is like always tell your loved ones you love them and appreciate every moment. So I don't know, I'm still, I'm still very, very, very down about it, but um, I don't, I wanna, you know, I wanna keep going. I wanna keep working and stuff. Um, so, anyways, that's what's happening today. Um, so if I seem off, that's why. So I'm gonna try to create a full face using all this new makeup, all the new launches that we found at the drugstore. Let's see what I found, because I kind of forgot by now. Oh yeah, these e.l.f. hydrogel masks. Maybe I'll put one of those babies on before I get started. Ooh. Ooh, very cooling. It feels like a little drink of water for the under eyes. I've been filming in my living room lately just because, I don't know, I've been switching it up. And I was trying to start this video before the sunset. I do have a light in front of me, but I was trying to start it before the sunset so that it would be bright and the sun is setting. So today just kind of got away from me, but there we go. So this is the Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus Brightening and Skin Tone Evening Makeup and Skin Care Primer Complex Infused with Lemon Extract, Vitamin E, and Vitamin C. Whew, that was a mouthful. I got this bomb ass palette, or at least it looks like it's gonna be bomb from LA Girl. This was $19.99, which I do feel like is kind of like on the pricier side for drugstore, but let's, you know, let's see. And then I've been dying to try this brow product. I really like, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. It just seems really interesting. So this is from Revlon, their color stay line, and it's called the Brow Lights Brow Pencil. So it has a little crayon like tip, but do you see that like top part is metallic? So interesting. I have never seen anything like that. And then the other side is this little like toothbrush thing. <laughs> Literally looks like a little toothbrush. What? It says hold pomade pencil with highlight side facing the start of the brow. So you, they want it to face the start, okay? And glide outwards to fill in. Softly blend brows with kabuki brush to finish. Okay, highlight side in, facing the beginning of, oh my God, it literally made it metallic. Oh my God, do you see that? Oh my God, no, no. It's gold. It's gold! No! Let's just see if it blends out. Oh my God. No, there's no way that that's what it's actually supposed to be like, right? I guess I'll just keep going for the sake of the video. 
so I can really test it out, but I'm just gonna put this out there. Not too much of a fan of the gold eyebrows situation, and also you don't get any precision with the actual crayon part because it's so thick. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean that up with some concealer just so we can kind of keep rolling with it, you know? My under eyes feel really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and test out this primer uh, the brightening and skin tone evening one also from Revlon I feel like I got a lot of Revlon stuff at CVS get a lot of new new from the Revlon station Oh my god, it's gold too What is up with Revlon like is it gold year? It's a gold moment again <laughs> Oh my god, it's literally gold and like sparkly. I don't know if you can tell Ugh. I'm kind of scared Smells fresh. Okay, it's not making my skin too like glittery. It feels nice. It feels like a lotion. It kind of feels like Max Strobe Cream a little bit. For the moment, I have been waiting for, I don't know if you guys have, but I've been waiting for this. This is the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. Um, I picked this one up at Rite Aid and I got the shade 75 Natural Beige. So this is supposed to be a really nice hydrating foundation. It says it has hyaluronic acid and collagen which we love to hear um so i have actually been applying my foundation with this makeup forever brush so i'm just gonna do it in like the normal way that i've kind of been doing it lately buffing it in i've been loving more lightweight foundations that just kind of like even out the skin tone and make the skin look nice and healthy and hydrated and i feel like that is exactly what this just did for me i would say this is probably like a medium coverage it just looks like skin that's the number one thing like it barely looks like I have anything on, but in the best way possible, you know? Oh, we like that. And this shade match, matches me really well. This is 75 again. Let me do a little close-up so you could see. Oh my god, it looks so good. <laughs> I didn't see any new uh, concealers or cream contours or anything like that. So let me just go ahead and do my concealer off camera, and then I'll be back with... The new new. Okay, so I'm actually really excited for this guy. This is the Skin Lights Prismatic Bronzer from Revlon. And it looks so pretty, you guys. Like it it actually looks like a, a Laura Mercier bronzer, like just like very pretty. <laughs> Look how pretty that looks. Ooh. Oh my god, that is so pretty. <gasps> God, it blends out like a dream. It's not overly pigmented, but I kind of like that because you can really build it up instead of like going really hard really fast. And it almost gives you like a natural little highlight. That's probably one of my favorite products that I have tried so far in this video, honestly. It's so pretty. Um, okay, so moving on to blush. Blush, blush, blush. I love a little blush. I love a little blush. I love a little blush. So the blush that I'm gonna be using is from Wet n Wild. It's in the shade Nudist Society. And if you didn't watch my last video, all of the um, blushes were in different packaging. So I actually don't know if this shade existed yet, but it looks really pretty. It's like very peachy and nude like I like. You know, I have been really going for it in the blush department. I feel like that's like my new vibe for 2020 is like lots of blush. Okay, this is not, not as peachy as I thought it was going to be. It's actually pretty light color. Does have some shimmer in it as well that's showing up. Mm. This shade is just a little too nude for me, but if you like a nude blush, I mean, this is very nude. Or if you even have like more fair skin, this could be a good option. Oh, I forgot that I also have this little duo. I got this duo from Wet n Wild that's called Hello Halo Blush Lighter after, it's in the shade After Sex Glow. All right, let's try this guy out. Getting lots of highlight from this. This is my own fault because that's what this is. A blush highlighter, so. But I'm gonna go in with the highlight portion of this guy as well, right on the high points of the face. Oh my God, that is so pretty. Oh. Wet n really does it with the highlights, you guys. Honestly, they have some bomb highlighters. You guys know I love their liquid one too. Oh my God, that is so pretty. <gasps> That is so, so pretty! Oh my god. Do you see how excited I get? Like I literally, that's when you can, when you can really tell that I like a product, I get this excited about it. 
I'm just gonna add a little bit to the inner corner. I know we haven't done eyeshadow yet, but just to get her on there. I still wish I had a little bit more blush, but like, again, for the video, for the purpose of the video, I am going to just try to work through it. Um, also, I got this in PR. I didn't pick this up in my haul, but it's a 24 karat gold collagen setting spray from Physicians Formula, also new, so I thought I would just try it out in this video. I'm scared though, I really hope it doesn't leave sparkle because my face is already sparkly enough at this point. Like, I don't need any more sparkle. Wait, let me just check to make sure. No, I think it's gonna give me sparkle. <gasps> Maybe just on the sides, like glittery cheeks is fine, just not like right here, you know? I really hope that does not make me too glittery. And then for the middle, um, I'm gonna try out this ginger kombucha vitamin D chill mist from Sweet Chef. I didn't know they sold this brand at uh, Target. It was a little more pricey than other ones, but it was at Target, so I, I picked it up there. But I love using like hydrating mist to set my powders in place because I feel like it just, it makes everything look really nice and smooth, so. Oh, oh, oh. It smells like ginger straight up, but also it's just so thin. Like the actual mister is like a, I'm pretty shook at this skin. <laughs> For the eyeshadow, we have the LA Girl Born Exclusive 35 Color Eyeshadow Palette. This packaging is so cute. It's like it's like a little, almost like faux faux leather packaging. Okay, okay, okay. There's so many pretty shades in here. Wow. I kind of want to do a purple for some reason. I haven't done purple eyeshadow in a while so i'm gonna start off with this shade down here called posh they look really pigmented oh my god oh my gosh they look so pigmented oh my gosh wait i need to swatch one of these just to see did we find a little gold mine That literally blends like a high-end eyeshadow. That is so nice and buttery. Then I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade down here called Collective and just pop that into the outer V and then up into the crease. Okay, the moment is here. I am dying to try this shade. It's like, it's almost like a violet blue purple shade. And I'm gonna take that on my little cream color brush from Sigma and we're just gonna go for it. Dude, what? Oh my god, that is so pretty. Dude, I cannot get over the eyeshadows. I like it because you have like your neutrals on this side. You get some warm tones. You get some like peachy shades, golds, everything. And then you have your pops of blue and purple and like, ooh, it's so good. Oh my god, I literally cannot get over it. It is so pretty. I'm just going to go ahead and use the same uh, two blending shades on the bottom lash line. And I've been taking this bottom lash line pretty low. Oh my god, this, like, I don't, <laughs> I mean, I'm speechless. Have you guys ever seen that? Not that I didn't expect to like it, but I didn't expect to like it this much, or I didn't expect it to be this good, and it really has impressed me. Okay, honestly, I don't even know how, like, we got to this point. It just got so dramatic, so sudden. Because we made it this far, uh, we need some balm. Mascara. So this is the Bambi Eye Mascara from L'Oreal. 90% agreed it does not clump. Instant eye opening volumizing mascara. I'm actually excited because I feel like drugstore mascaras are typically like just as good as high end mascaras, you know? This first impression has actually been very successful besides the gold brows. If I had to do it again, I probably would do my eyes first though because I did get a little bit of like pigment on my cheeks. All right, Bambi Eye. It has somewhat of a plasticky wand to it. I don't typically like wands like this to be honest with you guys, but I will say that it's not clumping. Okay, this mascara is actually bomb. Like you can literally see it over all the eyeshadow that I put on, which was a lot. I'm excited but nervous about this. This is like a new false lash thing from Kiss, but it's called False Scara. So what you're supposed to do is brush on the bond, which is on this side, put this underneath your lashes, like right here to push them up. 
and obviously add the falsy and then lock it in with the seal. I'm so nervous to try this. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it just sounds scary to me. I've gotten so used to, um, you know, normal false lashes that I just get scared trying anything else. But, like, we'll try it, you know, because it's new on the market. Okay, Bond with biotin. I think I was supposed to not use actual mascara because this looks like a mascara, but hopefully it will still work. So you're supposed to put this on. Oh my God, I'm scared. Brush a light coat of Bond on natural lashes. A little goes a long way. Pick up a whisk in the middle outer end. One by one, gently place the whisk underneath the base of your lashes, slightly away from the waterline. Okay, also they're not even as long as my natural lashes. Way! I kind of love that idea, actually. It looks very natural, I want to say. I wish I had done like a more natural eyeshadow look so you could really see the lashes, but I feel like it's really creating this natural swoop that does not look like a fake lash because you cannot even see, obviously, there's no lash band on the top. It's like from the bottom. This would be so clutch for like... <laughs> Like a date night or something where you don't want to look like you're wearing false lashes. Oh my gosh I forgot to bond it in you're supposed to seal it in with the other half So this side the black side is the bond and then the white side is the seal sealant and you're supposed to like Seal it on with this so that I guess it doesn't fall off. Hopefully. I only placed two on the outer corner But you can see a difference like let me look straight on I feel like you can see a difference because this side is it's just a little bit more like winged out on the end wow i was not expecting that at all okay i just added on some um just a little bit of lip liner okay why am i obsessed with this look so far it's very dramatic it reminds me very like bella hadid like smoky cat eye dramatic situation you know um but anyways for lips i got these two new maybelline lipsticks i love maybelline lipsticks in general you guys know that is beige is my jam. Um, so these are new ones that are like a cream formula. They're pretty similar, I'm not gonna lie. But I got Naked Dare and then Naked Drama. I just love like brown tone, peachy nudes. I did try this one in that video. I just put it on top of what I was wearing and it was so good. So I guess I'll try the other one called Bare Reveal, number 177. This formula is so good. Maybelline lipsticks literally, to me, feel like high-end lipsticks. It's actually crazy. Let me just show you the difference, by the way. Bare Reveal, so pretty. And then this one is Naked Drama. So yeah, I mean, they're pretty similar. Naked Drama is just gonna be a little more caramelly. Uh, to be honest, I feel like Naked Drama is more something that I would personally pick up more. You know what, let me just put a little bit on. I'll mix the two together. All right guys, so that is it for this video. I am honestly kind of obsessed with how this look turned out. If I had to name some standout products, I mean, like, to be honest, a lot of them are really good today, except the brow. Highly do not recommend the brow. It's just, it's strange to say the least to have like gold in a brow product or any metallic color. I don't know, I just feel like that's, it was a lot. Um, unless you're into that, maybe some of you are into like sparkly brows, but I personally am not. Although I do feel like the gold kind of subsided once I was kind of zhuzhing the rest of the face. But this palette, oh my god, I literally like cannot recommend it enough. I love this bronzer. I obviously love the lipsticks. I mean, <laughs> looks high end to me. And then I really do like this foundation as well. Um, I feel like it just evened out my skin tone. The match is amazing for me right now. And it feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels very lightweight. Foundation is something that I feel like you have to wear for a long amount of time to really know how it feels, you know? Um, so I'll keep tr testing this out. I'll keep trying it out, but I do like how it feels off my first impression. And then this highlighter, Blush Duo, I would probably use it more for the highlighter than the blush, just because for my blush, I wanna pop, you know? I wanna pop. Actually, you know what? Let me just add on a little blush just to show you guys, like, kinda like the finished look of what it would look like if I had my normal blush on because I feel like the blush will make a huge difference in how, oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. I love blush, I love blush. This one's not drugstore, it's just like the one I've been using. It's from Makeup Forever and I mixed together these two, B302 and B308. But anyways, yeah, those would be my top products, the eyeshadow palette, the lipsticks, the highlighter from this duo, and then 
the foundation and to be honest kind of these lashes too like I wasn't really expecting to like them but I mean I'm not gonna be giving up strip lashes anytime soon but if I wanted something that's super super natural looking that doesn't even have like a lash band or anything I would definitely wear these again all right guys I love you so much thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe down below turn on those notifications if you never ugh, if you never want to miss a video and I will see you in my next video remember you are beautiful inside out Ooh, look at that eyeshadow. Mm. <laughs> Bye.